brains of domestic animals are much smaller than the brains of their wild counterparts. Whether it be dogs and wolves, domesticated cats, cats are in the wild, but cats are seemingly wild anyway. Uh, pigs, of course chickens, uh, but especially if you look back in time, what they find is a Cro-Magnon man, which they equate to being modern man, and both that and Neanderthal had much larger brains than we do. Now, we like to make excuses, well, maybe their brains are organized different, maybe they weren't as smart. Really? What makes you think so? If you look at it again, uh, Cro-Magnon man was effectively the same as us, except they had larger brains. And so you really got to ask, is modern man, the people that live amongst us today, really like domesticated versions of Cro-Magnon man? Are we just domesticated versions of that? Is that what's going on with us? So you tell me, and what does it really mean? What is domestication? Well, domestication is where you're more reliant on cities. Uh, apparently this brain size started shrinking when we started farming and living in cities and communities, when people were out as hunter-gatherers, they needed more brain power to survive. They had to be cunning. They had to be wily just to survive out in the wild. They needed that extra brain power because there always might be something just lurking around out here that might want to eat you. And part of that brain power might have just been the power to recognize something hiding out here in the woods. What is it? What's over there? You got to be able to tell what's an opportunity, like something to eat, versus something that's a threat. Maybe sometimes it was both. <laughs> you know, a lot of the herbivores are very dangerous animals. Although we prefer not to eat carnivorous animals, the meat's just not as good. Probably not as good for you. So, yeah, we eat our vegetables. Our ancestors did too. Walking on four hoofs, four feet. They're chirping up in the trees, like the birds here. So, get down to it. Let's get right specific, guys. So, what does this mean today for you and me? Uh, the levels at which we're reliant on society to support us may, in fact, affect our brain. It might make us a little less intelligent. So, it might be that people, let me just ask, are people living in cities more inclined to let their guard down and more become more reliant on social services, on big government? It's interesting how people, urbanites, are the primary source of liberalism, how they love big government, how they are typically liberal, as opposed to people that are predominantly urban or not. Now, is that a sign of change of intelligence? <laughs> well, I won't say, guys, but, you know, there's just a lot of questions, a lot of things to be asked. You tell me, what is the case there? So, it might be that just living in the cities and living under the control or the mana, whatever you want to call it, from big government, makes us less self-reliant, and it does. It makes us less self-reliant, and people become reliant on that. But what's that going to buy them in the long term, especially when the grid goes down? The government ain't going to be there. Those people are going to be in a world of hurt. That's why you need to get out of the cities, to get away from them, to get out of nature whenever you can, to go camping, practice some bushcraft skills. Maybe one day I'll start doing videos in that genre. It's a whole different genre, but uh, maybe something to consider, guys. Do more outdoor stuff. Get away. Nature is good for you. It's good for the soul. It's good for your inner being. But this whole thing. Oh yeah, minks are an exception. Minks that have been domesticated when they return to the wild adjust pretty fast. They get their uh, brain size back really quick. But most animals require several generations. What about humans? I don't see it happening so much so well in humans, but maybe we at least get a little smarter. <laughs> so maybe it doesn't mean a lot of well that I grew up in the country, that I grew up spending my time out in the woods when I was a kid. That's what I did. So 
by all means, get out in the woods as much as you can. Let your kids get out in the woods. Maybe you need to go with them because we live in a dangerous world these days. But the biggest danger might be being laid up on the couch playing video games all day. That might be the worst thing in the world. So get out. Enjoy life. Listen to the bugs singing in the trees. Birds, the bugs, and the bees. <laughs> it's getting dark, kind of, sort of. There we go, my little nature walk and talk. Looks like a little persimmon tree there. Anyway, so my friends, do what you can. Just remember that domestication applies to human beings too. And the more domesticated you are, probably the less brains you're going to have. Unless you're going to require. That seems to be the case. So, just think about it. Just kind of factor that in what's going on in the world today and how our political systems work. But sure enough, the urbanites are more liberal, more dependent than those who are not so urban. Amazing, right? Amazing. What does that mean? What are the ramifications of that? Think about it. Grow a garden. Plant your seeds. Go check out my links to True Leaf Market below. And hope uh, it'll be in the show notes. Maybe I'll put them in pen notes. But if I'm doing this thing early in the morning, it probably won't be in the pen notes. Anyway, hey, I got to see a critter down here. Let's check it out. Birds. Maybe there's a critter down. Nope, just a... Yeah, here we are. There's a critter down. What lives in there? I hope it doesn't jump out on me. That's one reason to stay smart. If I can recognize where I'll find a critter down. Look here. See these trees piled up? That'd be a good place to make a quick lean to if you had to survive at night. It's kind of late. I'd hate to be making my shelter this late. But, you know, places like that are great for building you a quick expedient shelter to make it overnight should you get yourself out in the wilderness and be in a tight. Anyway, thank you for watching. Greg out.